The story starts with a secret agent named Roddick meeting a journalist named Greta. Roddick shares some hidden CIA files with Greta, who is excited about exposing a CIA cover-up. While Greta is taking photos with her phone, Roddick unexpectedly pulls out a gun and shoots her. News spreads about the CIA killing journalists to hide a conspiracy. This leads to protests in Greece after the third journalist murder in a month. Even the Greek foreign minister, Kostas, speaks out against the CIA's unchecked activities in Europe. In Langley, CIA agent Kate investigates the case. She reviews CCTV footage but finds nothing unusual. Determined to dig deeper, Kate takes matters into her own hands. Late at night, while working alone, Kate spots Roddick in the video footage. She informs her boss, O'Malley, who is equally surprised. O'Malley reveals that Roddick, thought to be dead for over 18 months, was a secret CIA operative embedded in both the Greek and Russian mafias. Roddick's handler at the time was a retired CIA operative named Vale, now working as a simple bricklayer. Vale, learning of this revelation, goes to the construction site to fix an old wall. After a tiring day, he goes for lunch and unexpectedly meets O'Malley and Kate, which doesn't make him happy. Kate shares the CIA blackmail and bodies pointing to Roddick as the killer. Vale doubts it, having seen Roddick die and knowing him as dangerous, but not a murderer. O'Malley reveals Roddick's CIA-approved hit on a Russian smuggler, linking him to the crime scenes. Concerned, O'Malley wants Kate and Vale to go to Greece to stop Roddick. They disagree, especially with Kate, as Vale senses breast milk on her breath. O'Malley insists it's an off-the-books mission, warning Vale of Roddick's threat. Vale declines, telling O'Malley to fix his own mess. Back on the roof, finishing his work, he recalls his close relationship with Roddick's family. Suddenly he's shot, taking cover as more shots ring out. After bandaging his wound, he descends to another rooftop. Two gunmen appear, and Vale ambushes and takes out one. He disarms the other and they engage in a brawl. Despite the man grabbing a steel bar, Vale avoids his strikes, throws him down, and beats him before choking him out with his tape measure. Another gunman arrives, and Vale uses a trowel to fend him off. They struggle near the edge and the man hints Roddick sent him. Vale causes him to fall onto a lift, but he fails to climb back up and falls onto the lift, resuming the fight. They throw strong punches, making the lift start falling. However, Vale manages to tie the man down and escape the lift just before it drops to the ground. Vale agrees to take the mission and meets up with Kate for their flight. He tells Kate to stay out of his way while he goes after Roddick alone, but she scoffs at him. It's her first field mission, and she wants to go over all the details, but Vale puts in his earphones and goes to sleep. While she reviews the mission, Kate sees pictures of Roddick's pregnant wife and daughter who were brutally slain. They land in Greece, pick up a car from a CIA site, and Vale has Kate change the route. They arrive at a warehouse where Vale meets with an old friend, Patricio, who served with him. Kate is unhappy with the change in plans, but Vale reminds her they called him. Patricio creates new identities for them, with Kate supposed to be Vale's wife, and gives them weapons. They change clothes and get a Mercedes-Benz CLS AMG equipped with impressive gadgets, although they probably won't be used in a movie. They set off, arriving in Greece the next day and getting a high-end hotel room. Vale suggests Kate take a shower, but when she returns, Vale is missing. Vale goes to a church, lights candles, and plants a listening device before leaving. We won't hear about that again. He infiltrates a gathering and meets former CIA colleague Ty, who warns him that the agency is still looking for him until she learns O'Malley sent him. Vale tells her about Roddick's reappearance, the information he has, and his plan to take him down. He asks about an old associate of theirs, and Ty reveals the man is now running a club. Vale heads there, meets owner Steph, and asks for Roddick's location. Steph insists Roddick is dead, but Vale suspects otherwise. Steph warns Vale that he won't be bullied anymore, showing his men standing by. Steph tells Vale to sit and drink, but Vale attacks the guard with a glass before systematically taking on each man and beating them down. Vale effortlessly takes on the men without getting hurt, causing chaos with gunshots. He runs away, and Steph's men chase him. Suddenly, Kate arrives and saves him, scolding him for leaving her behind. Vale admits he found Kate's bug and planted it on Steph during the chaos to lead them to Roddick. Kate refuses to go further until Vale explains what really happened with Roddick. Vale reveals that after Roddick's last mission, his family was killed, pushing him over the edge. He blamed the CIA and went on a revenge spree. Vale was ordered to take him out, thought he succeeded, but Roddick resurfaced. Roddick sends a video to the CIA demanding $100 million, threatening to expose their secrets. Vale and Kate track Steph to his home to find evidence leading to Roddick. Kate goes through Steph's laptop, and Vale finds a hidden compartment revealing Greta's cell phone and hints about Roddick's next target. They hear a guard approaching. Hide, and Vale takes him down, but another tough fighter arrives, disarms Kate, and a brutal fight ensues. Vale eventually stabs the man, and they nurse their wounds. Kate, shaken from freezing during the fight, learns from Vale to appreciate these moments before feeling nothing. Patricio texts Vale about the next target's location. They arrive at a small town, spot the target at a cafe, and Patricio nearby. 
Kate wants to warn the man, but Vale plans to use him as bait. Roddick calls Vale, revealing Vale let him go, agreeing to disappear forever. Roddick blames the CIA for blowing his cover to the Russians, leading to his family's death. Vale, scanning the crowd, spots a well-dressed man and begins to follow him. Vale tries to convince Roddick to let go of his grudge, but Roddick warns him to stay out of it for Kate's sake. Vale catches up with a man, thinking it's Roddick, but Roddick suddenly appears and shoots a journalist before escaping on a bike. Vale shoots his tires, causing a crash, but Roddick escapes between buildings. Patricio retrieves a tablet from the bike, and they plan to access it. A photo of Luis Delgado, the Cuban ambassador to the UN, is found, and Kate suggests calling it in. Vale, suspicious of O'Malley, warns Kate not to trust anyone at the CIA. Despite this, Kate answers a call from O'Malley. Vale visits Ty, tension between them due to history. Vale shares his suspicion of the CIA betraying Roddick. Ty tries to cover for the agency, but Vale reminds her of past betrayal. They share a moment, and Vale recalls when Roddick refused a CIA-ordered hit, leading to their promise of asylum in the U.S. Vale wakes up on Ty's couch. They track the IP address of the ransom video. Ty can't send a team, but Vale plans to stop his former friend from self-destruction. Returning to the hotel, Kate reveals she knows Vale talked to Roddick and accuses him of working with Roddick. Vale disarms her but reassures her it's not what she thinks. Later, they're watching the place from where the video was sent and decide to check it out. The warehouse seems empty, but they enter carefully with guns ready. Inside an office, Vale is shocked to find Patricio dead and tortured. Angry, he stares at his friend when a group of armed men enters. Vale kills the first man, starting a fierce gunfight. Kate grabs explosives and escapes under the floor, while Vale causes a big explosion, skillfully taking down the others. In close combat, he swiftly defeats all the men and looks for Kate when red dots appear on his chest. Steph leads the men, telling Vale to surrender or die. Vale refuses, but when Steph reveals he has captured Kate, Vale lowers his gun and walks towards them. They allow the exchange to happen. Kate tearfully refuses to leave Vale, but he insists for her sake. Vale appears to surrender, then throws the bomb bag at Steph, causing a massive explosion, killing everyone inside. Kate sees Vale walk out of the fire. They hit the road again, and Vale reveals the politician Roddick refused to kill was Costas. The CIA killed Roddick's family for that. Vale is angry about Patricio's fate and decides to kill Roddick for real this time. The agency agrees to pay the 100 million, and O'Malley arrives in Greece. In a meeting with Ty, Vale, and Kate, O'Malley reveals Roddick personally requested Kate to drop off the cash and wants Vale off the mission. Vale leaves, and they give Kate a flash drive with 100 million Bitcoin for the drop. They plan to capture Roddick after the drop. Kate finds a hidden phone under a booth. Next, she follows the directions to a tavern, entering a back room where someone grabs her. It's Vale, revealing he's been tracking her. He takes the drive, sends Kate out, and goes down with his gun drawn. The basement is empty, but Vale finds a laptop on a desk. He attaches the flash drive, and Roddick appears on a video call, expressing distrust in the CIA. Vale confronts him about killing Patricio, and vows to find him no matter where he hides. Roddick reveals his plan to target Costas for his final hit, seeking to start a war. Suddenly, the basement door slams shut, trapping Vale. He discovers a bomb under the desk, quickly pushing it against a wall before a massive explosion blows a hole through. Shaken but alive, Vale narrowly escapes being run over by Roddick's van, with Kate rescuing him in the AMG. They engage in a high-speed chase, and Vale eventually flips Roddick's van. However, Roddick escapes, leaving Vale frustrated. In the town, during a political gathering with Costas giving a speech, Vale spots Roddick among the cameramen on a tower. Vale uses a sledgehammer to topple the tower, causing Roddick to fall. Vale smashes Roddick's hand and holds him at gunpoint, apologizing for not protecting his family. However, when Roddick reaches into his jacket, Vale shoots him, only to be shot by cops. He wakes up in the hospital with Kate by his side. They found Roddick's laptop, but the money was missing. O'Malley reveals they don't care about the 100 million, as Costas thanks the CIA for saving his life. O'Malley leaves, and Kate suspects he has the money, but Vale assures her he'll face the consequences. A few nights later, Ty is getting ready to leave town when Vale shows up in her apartment, scaring her. She nervously makes him a drink and asks him to come with her, but Vale senses something is wrong. Suddenly, they hear vans pulling up outside, and Ty points a gun at Vale. She confesses that Roddick approached her, forcing her to become his informant. Ty grabs her luggage and leaves, passing a group of men on their way to harm Vale. Inside, Vale takes a white packet and puts it in the oven before escaping through a window. The men enter, and one hears the oven, causing a big explosion when he opens it. Vale, thrown to the street, is just in front of Ty, who is driving away. Ty speeds toward him, but Kate opens fire, hitting her and causing her to crash. Vale sadly looks at Ty's lifeless body before Kate comes, takes him, and they walk away. At CIA headquarters, O'Malley, surprised by Kate's suspicion, orders her to pack, but instead of firing her, he promotes her to handle her own cases. 
Kate declines, packs, and leaves. Meanwhile, Vale is back at work, happily laying bricks. 